The steps that we see here in the script are low-level instructions to a computer to perform actions on a browser. Now, this is not what one tester would communicate with another tester like. Instead, it is more likely that we talk about login into the system with this username and password, add items in various quantities, verify the total and log out. This is the language of the business. So we need to create these business level abstractions out of steps that we have here. We create business level abstractions in Sahi using functions. To do that, we select those steps which pertain to a logical business step and click on create function. Here, we give it a name. We'll call it cart login. See that when we did this, it created a function and extracted out possible parameters and then called that function with the right values. We'll do similarly for the rest of it. These four steps talk about add items to cart. We'll give some more descriptive names here. Verify the total. And log out. Now what has happened is Sahi has created these functions on the top and called them here. When we create functions, we also want to allow reuse of those functions in other scripts. To do that, we'll move all these functions into a library file. So we create a new script, paste all this and save it as cartlib.sh. Now all these functions have been moved into this file. When we look at the script, we see that all these functions are here, but there is a a warning here which says cart login is defined but not included. We'll press the control key and click on this cart login. It brings up the context panel which shows us which file this function is defined in or the function name is and what the different parameters are. So here what we need to do is include this file. So this includes the file and the warnings have gone now because these functions are now defined for the script. Let us play this back. We'll look at the logs. Here, the same script has run. When we open it, we see that all the steps that were part of a logical function are grouped together. So here we see cart login with the values that were passed. When we open it, it shows us the different steps that were performed. And when we click on it, it takes us to the line of code. Now, just by virtue of creating functions, our reporting has changed to show us the business abstractions. If you make it fail like last time, this is the same script which has failed. We see that the error happened in verify card total. And again, we can see the screenshot too.